Boys, whenever YouTubers get bored, instead of innovating the content, uh, most of them will just end up making songs. Uh, and recently, since KSI, popular Prime Guy, created his new song, Thick of It, that uh, came out to critical acclaim, everybody loves it, I figured I'd take a look at uh, all the YouTuber songs I could think of to see how great they really are. And most of them were just as dog shit as you think, if not worse. So, if you enjoy this video or any of my other ones, subscribe. And if you don't enjoy it, subscribe. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it, I'm gonna pause I didn't wanna pause it too early because everybody's heard this, everybody likes this. Listen, this was a lot harder whenever I was eight, I'm not gonna lie, but seeing PewDiePie shoot on the beach is still kind of funny. One thing that I do like about this video though, honestly, is that over basically any other YouTuber song, this is like the only one that's like ironic. There's like a couple other ones, but a lot of YouTuber songs suffer with taking themselves way too seriously, and this one's like funny, like it bitch lasagna. Like, I think I might have just heard heard it too many times because it, it doesn't hit the same way it used to i'm not gonna lie so who the hell is bob and why you want to kiss him Ew. I'm a blue eyes white dragon while you're just dark magician. I don't really understand any of the references for this. All of them just completely fly over my head. And this came out almost exactly to the day, like six years ago. That's crazy. Okay, hold up, hold up. Before this part, last part, this is the hardest part of the song right here. You got a Like, that's hard. That's actually, like, a good diss. Like, talking about how there's so many more people, but they can't do shit. Like, this song, I feel like it has to go high because it's, like, historical. Anybody who's been on YouTube in the past ever has heard of T3 vs. PewDiePie. It was the biggest thing ever. He gained tens of millions of subs. This inspired a lot of memes, right? It, it, it was it was good. If we're judging it actually on being a song, obviously it's terrible. But in the context of a YouTube song, it's better than most of them. It's going in A tier, although some of you might say it's S, and I can understand. And S, but it's not quite there. But it is funny. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. Five mil on YouTube in six months. Never done before. God, dude, it's such like a, this is like a six year old hype dream, dude. What music video can I make that would attract the most children? Uh, Lamborghinis, backflips, women, watches, hype beast. The accent, too. He's doing a black scent, and it, it's it's so terrible. It's like, that's one thing about the Paul Brothers, I will say. They, they've been faking this black scent for so long, and it's never sounded good. This is Team 10, bitch. Who the hell I'm flipping you? And that's my favorite line of the song. Because saying the F word was too far across the line, right? Santa Claus wouldn't have came that year if he would have said it then. I can make fun of this video all I want, but at the end of the day, like, this was made to piss people off. It did a good job at it. And it's kind of funny in retrospect because of how stupid this is. It, it's like, it's like those movies that are so bad that they're funny. We shoot, in with the gun. we shoot them with the gun. Where's the Lyrical Lemonade video, guys? England is my city. And, and if it weren't for a team, team then, then, then the US would be shitty. Out. England's my city. Hell yeah, dude. Texas is my city. Central C has got competition here. England is my city, and if it were for Team 10, then the US would be shitty. Why is he sound- he sounds like an AI-generated voice of, like, Mr. Krabs with a British accent to me. Hating on me back in West, think you need to get your shit straight. Jakey brought me to the top, now we really popping off. I kind of feel like he's trying here. I feel like he actually tried and didn't understand that this was supposed to be ironic and it, it didn't really come off I, I, the way he wanted to, I don't think. I, I, is that the fucking, is that the guy from the Nelk Boys? Obviously it's terrible, but it's kind of smart. In retrospect, that was a smart move. Cause obviously the Paul brothers like don't give two shits about their reputation in the slightest. And all they wanted to ever do was like be the biggest possible. It's got 300 million views. I'm gonna put it in B, not because of, it owed nothing to do with talent of the song, right? But that's a business move. And the Paul brothers, they're businessmen, right? They do a lot of great stuff with crypto, if you've ever seen any of that. Now, we're going on to one of the best songs on this list. It's unironically a good song. Unironic, like, I'm just gonna, let's just, you know, cut the bullshit, cut the fluff. I'm putting in an S. Actually a listenable, fun song. Great, great Steve, fire your legs, magnetic. Great, great Steve. I, 
I'm just gonna say I'm I'm probably gonna get this stuck in my head and start listening to it after this stream. If I'm making a video where I'm watching YouTube videos or something and it's in my recommended for like the song part or whatever, don't be surprised. And I'll just come out and say it because I'm, I'm gonna say this at the end anyway. One of the biggest things that I said in my um like YouTuber products video that I uploaded the other day was like it was better whenever they made stuff that had a connection to their brand and their identity. And that's exactly what this song is. It's literally it's basically just a song about Happy Wheels, which was Jacksepticeye's biggest thing at the point. So it makes sense why this song it, it is to do with Happy Wheels, but then on top of it being so connected to his brand and all that, it's actually good. Like that that's why it's an S tier song. Hey. Yeah. Hey. It's hard for me to even say anything. I have friends in my, like, classes and shit that will, like, still quote this song. This is one of the best songs by a YouTuber ever uploaded onto this platform. Next one. This one's interesting. One thing I, I I will say, just I don't like the vocal mix. I think it's like a little too weird. The thing is, is personally, I don't really like it, but I can see an audience for this. It's not bad. I just don't think I'm the intended person to like it. And one thing I do like about it is it just seems like a kid just having fun, which like I'm not going to make fun of. I'm not going to knock. You know, it, it, this kind of feels more of a separation from like a YouTuber song. It's like a, a song by a guy who makes video. It's like a little bit different, I think, which is a, which is a, a good thing. Maybe, maybe mistakes but it's a okay oh i don't i don't like that oh no no okay it got worse got worse i'm gonna end it there uh, i'm gonna put it in b but then i'm putting it in the jake paul t okay i'm gonna put it above jake paul okay come on oh man i'm in the thick of it everybody knows i don't know no nothing but no ice i'm just cold it sounds like the epitome of a YouTuber song. I don't know how to describe it. Like, if I were to just... I can't... I don't even know what to say. And I, and I really don't like the face that KSI is making at me right now, either. It just sounds like nothing. Like, that's the best way I can describe it. It sounds like nothing. Just the most bland, generic pop slash rap song that I could possibly imagine. There's no substance here. There's, there's like nothing enjoyable about this. It's like, it's like Mr. Beast videos, but music. Really, that's what this is. It, it, that's exactly what it is, actually. It's just the most inoffensive, like, digestible song that you could possibly make that appeals to the most people. And because of that, it ironically appeals to nobody. Oh, we're about to get to the best. Hold up. Take back everything I said. From the screen to the ring, to the pen, to the king. Where's my crown? Is my bling? A drama when I ring. See, I'm I don't know who signed off on this. This sounds like it went through five Ghost Riders. Also, like he repeats the same verse way too many times for how short of a song this is. And I'm I'm gonna stop it right there. That bar, forty something milli subs or whatever he said. Like it, YouTube is the future, and it's my path. It's the only thing in the world I care about. I I think I've said this before, but if I got ten million subs and died the day after, I'd be fulfilled. But there is no world where rapping about YouTube subs will ever be cool. It just won't. He, I mean, like, come on. Call me all units. Shots fired. Shots fired in front of the Supreme. First off, hold up. Give me one second. Uh, let's watch this video, guys, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> this is how much I used to like iDubs. Ooh, this frame didn't age well. I wanna be gay, cause you're fucked and I wanna savor it. Pretty cool, after smashing you off PayPal, you 2K. Hey, you look afraid, must have seen a ghost rider. Well, did a little bitch, but I'm not scared to show mine. Like, it's it's good. It's, it's like, the beat's a little corny, kind of cliche, but like, for the time, what iDubs was making fun of KSI for in this was like, good. He did have help making it from, you know, but this isn't the type of song that you listen to outside of it or for, you know, unironic reasons. But even then, like, it's, it's, it's listenable. It's funny. I don't hate it. I mean, I wouldn't have bought this in a thrift store for, like, $20 the other day if I didn't. That being said... That kid's thinking it at all when you weren't capable of me. Oh, my God, you're such a legend. You make me so wet with your reckless face. You gain my respect and you're oh so funny. Please, take me to your mansion and fuck me. This seems like it has, like, a lot of, uh, like, thought behind it. Fuck, like, like, iDubs, like, really cared about this and he wanted to make it, like, good and funny, but also, like, like, actually 
actually say a lot and actually make fun of rice gum really hard. And like in the context of this beef, this was like the best it like this fucking destroyed rice gum. You're fucking delusional. So try your best to remember. You are not a pimp, you're a borderline sex offender. That's tough. I'm gonna put it in A. It has nothing to do with boy in a band. And now I'll, I'll state my, my case, case of which I'm, I'm certain. certain. For what is a man? What has he got? If not himself, the record shows I took the blows and did it. Ma this, I'm not lying, was how I discovered this song. I hadn't heard the original before I heard this. I'm not kidding. And whenever I listened to the original, I swear to God, I swear to God, I thought the shellac version was better. I'm not kidding. I have no glaze. I use my favorite content creator of all time. My last video was completely copied by his old uh, thing he used to do. But this is genuinely better than the original. You could say it's not a YouTuber song because it's a cover. And I could also tell you to suck my dick and balls and shaft and pee. This is S here no question but now we're about to have a, a major come down dude okay the fact that like this is following the fucking schlatt song i can tell that you came with a disney flow hey ain't nobody ever heard about your disney show hey got a bitch that remind me of my cereal from britain when i i have no fucking i i i am like cheerio yeah Alyssa called asking me if we could win against jake paul I still say that shit. I don't know if I've ever said that on stream. I say Gucci like the shirts with the snakes on all the time. Oh, fidget spinner. That was hard. Or you used to bully kids back in high school. <laughs> I forgot that. <laughs> what kind of roast is that? Obviously, this is like just as bad as the Jake Paul song for all the same reasons. But it's also just as good as Everyday Bro for all the same reasons. And it had a fidget spinner. It's every day, bro, didn't have a fidget spinner. And it came out like the peak of fidget spinner. Well, Alyssa Violet moaning in the background really makes me uncomfortable. But some of this shit is like so funny. This is like the Asian kid at school that thinks he's black. Rented cars in that road looking fake too. Let's go back to the bully thing. Listen here. Was it back in middle? He's like actually like mad at Jake Paul for bullying. And he was like 22 whenever he made this. <laughs> okay, you see what I'm talking about? The, like, you're not black. No. Nobody here thinks this shit's tough. I'm gonna leave F for thick of it. Oh god. Everybody, before we get into this one, we all know what's coming up. Let's just take let's just a deep breath, alright? Everybody watching at home. It, does it have to be so vibrant? That's the only thing I'm does it have to be burning my retinas? Yes, yes, I can take it. I'll be back in a minute, boy. Oh shit. Left Sarah right, Aiden Ross, tell me baby what he lost. Acting like a fruitcake, you bought him for Andrew Tate. Now moving on a dream, face reveal, maybe sick. Right and murder me when it comes to Ronaldo. Starting to think soccer ain't the only buzz you like, ho. Huh? I don't know how I'm gonna get through the next three minutes of this shit. This beat is just so bad. It just sounds like a random assortment of fucking taps and noises. Is this copyrighted? Are you fucking serious? Who the fuck picked this up? What label is this under? And George got matching but plus. Fruity. Pokey steak. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You know, I, I make a lot of gay jokes on my channel about getting hard at men. I have never been more flaccid a day in my life, let me tell you. Loud and clear, all right? There is not an ounce of stiffness down there, all right? Watch that ass, watch that ass, take a back. Oh my god. Oh fuck, god, no. Hey, that's right, man. Fuck it up. Okay, let's go. No. Who the fuck trying to nut in my no. butt? I wear a mask with a smile for hours at a time. I'm, I'm actually like running out of like negative things to say for some of these. Like, I mean, th this shit was an absolute meme, right? Like, you've, you've seen this shit, you've seen how bad it is. I don't want to do that. I'm actually in such a bad mood. Like, what do I even say anymore, man? Yeah, it sounds like shit. Yeah, the lyrics are terrible. Yeah, it's ugly as fuck. So you can it's animated like a shitty, cheap Disney movie. There's no way that when Dream made this, he thought this would go over well. But I've been places, so I'm okay-ish, so I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay, bitch! Whoa! Dream, calm down! You say a couple more of those, and your audience of fucking 12-year-old girls is gonna leave you, man. They can't be hearing rhetoric like that. Are you serious? That is way out of your ju jurisdiction. You don't need to be crashing out, all right? It's just a song, man. Calm down. Classic. 
Uh -huh. Can anybody even begin to tell me what this is saying? Uh -huh. Are you blind with Parkinson's and don't speak English? Holy fucking shit. What is this? Whoa, he's crashing out. Oh, shit. He's going crazy. He's off the rails. So do an appearance come out to his parents <laughs> and they're, 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 it's, we're just stacking on the f's at this point man this is fucking in, this is ludicrous i learned about who cg5 was because in sixth grade an autistic kid in my pe class sung a cg5 sonic song at a talent show and the mic was cutting out the whole time that being said i'm gonna be watching peaches but it's an acapella cover Peach. This is fucking miserable. This is a fucking bullshit job. I'm quitting streaming after this is gonna be my last one. You're gonna have to pay me thousands to come back after this shit. It, it actually infuriates me how bad this is. For somebody who's a singer, songwriter, and music producer, the fucking mix on these songs is terrible. That being said, there is one song he made that is fire. <laughs> I knew he was responsible for the bite of 87 I was there this is fire. I hate CG5. That being said, I'm sure he's a really cool guy. If I met him in person, he'd probably be really cool. And if I ever do talk to him, I'm taking all of this back. But everything else apart from this song is terrible. If if if, a, if any meme ever gets a CG5 song, it's gone too far. Okay, we get the point. We get the point. I I'm gonna put CG5 as a whole in C, even though honestly, Rice Gum's more listenable. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. Never get through to you all my life being so polite, but I'll sleep alone. Okay, I don't know what is coming up in this video, but I'll just say this is like good. This is the good level of trying where it's not insanely cringe. I really don't like the chest hair though. It's fucking disgusting. Cause I'm just Tom. Anyone else would take my arm. Is it my destiny to live and die a life of a blonde divorcee? This also is not the type of song that you listen to. This is completely comedic and a joke, and it's not the same as All The Way or any of the other good ones, which is a good thing because I think Tommy in it knows that he wouldn't be able to make good music, so the music he does make, it's like a joke. And this is obviously a joke, which is why it's okay. This is, again, not the type of thing that you listen to. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, it's this is funny, but it's getting a little gay for me. I don't really like him humping the window or the mirror. I don't, I don't care what it was. Just cut that out. Can you feel the tomogy? Okay, so I've now given you a warning. You've heard me loud and clear, and you continue to do this. What the fuck is? You don't have to run away from me. Whoa! I'm gonna fucking put this in A. That was good. 